Ah, hello everybody. Welcome back. Um, I'm back, as as you guys can tell. Um, it's been a very very rough time, and I'm gonna talk about it more in this video. And I'm just thinking, like, what can I make to really, you know, explain everything and uh, how have I been? Um, and this game came to mind. Kingdom Two Crowns, very chill game. I don't really need to say much. Uh, I just went back and forth through the first two islands. Um, just back in the first island after I completed the second island a bit. And got the stone. But other than that, I didn't do much. So, yeah, let's... Um, let me talk about where I've been. And um, for those who haven't seen the previous video that I made... Um, so basically... I have an autoimmune disease that is causing my large intestine to have inflammation and it causes it to bleed. Uh, I'm gonna search the name right now because I did not really prepare for this. It just was like, okay, I feel like doing it. Let's not delay this. Let's not uh, do all that because I lose motivation very fast. I'm still not fully recovered, but I'm in a better, way, way better. Um, way better um, physical condition than I was before oh what the fuck okay it's um <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> why it was howling there oh Blood moon. Okay, that's not the best, but you know. Okay, so the disease is called Eukerativ colitis. And as I said, it's a long term condition where the colon and rectum become inflamed. The colon, large intestine, bowel, are the rectum, and the Rectum is like the back of your large intestine. Uh, so, this pretty much causes my. Um, what are they shooting? They're shooting at the. Okay. So, yeah, this causes my intestine, my large intestine to bleed. This can spread if left untreated and everything. This can spread to the entirety of the large intestine. But. Um, thankfully, I'm not that bad, so it has only spread into the first 25 centimeters of my large intestine uh, from the beginning. Now, that's not little. <laughs> that's not a small um, area that is affecting. And with the medication I was using, it was going well. Uh, but for some reason... And uh, it just became so much worse out of nowhere. Holy shit. Okay, everybody's dead. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, for some reason it became so much worse uh, really fast. Um, and it started out like that. It started getting worse about two months ago. So, uh, at first, you start. I start noticing a little bit of extra bleeding um, when there wasn't so much blood, and I'm like, okay, probably they, not really a matter. So I didn't contact my doctor as a stupid idiot that I am. Right away, I mean, after like a week or so, I'm like, hey doc, um. So, I'm starting to bleed again, and I don't know exactly what to do here. Uh, so, my doctor's like, okay, shit. Uh, let's take a step back on the, um, on the treatment and go back to the previous stage, which was more medicine that I was taking. At this point, I had stopped taking cortisone for a little bit, which really helps with this condition for me. Um... I had stopped taking it and I was losing the weight and everything and I was feeling good about myself. But that didn't really last. <laughs> um, so... 
corner was that? Yeah. So I went a step back on my on my treatment. And it was stable. I was still bleeding and hurting and it was very uncomfortable. But it, it began it be, it began to stabilize in a way that um, I wouldn't bleed more, but I wouldn't bleed less. So that was bad. So I contacted the doctor. I'm like, okay, so the bleeding hasn't increased, but it hasn't decreased at all. So what do we do here? And he's like, okay, um, in this case, we're going to just do another colonoscopy. So we can see what the hell is going on down there. Now, colonoscopies are, is a procedure where you clean your column with a specific um with a specific bag of dust that's diluted in water and after you clean your column completely and you don't eat some anything the previous day and there's something you cannot eat some days as well you they put a camera on inside your large intestine and they check everything and they take samples as well from some tissue samples from your large intestine to see what's going on um, and that's what they wanted to do so I hate that preparation because it has the worst feeling not taste the worst feeling in your mouth and everything so I tried to do the whole procedure to clean it up but I couldn't and I ended up taking one-fourth of the cleaning thing which was not enough but thankfully we were able to see the first 30 centimeters and it was clear that it was becoming worse at that point i was able to sleep full nights i was able to have motivation i was able to go out and i wasn't needing to go to the bathroom um too many times per day like i think it was like three maybe four times a day which is pretty okay um but I had to stop the um, the therapy for a day because of the colonoscopy. You know, I had to I had to not have anything up my ass uh, because it would go out with the medicine. And so that day, that one day that I didn't take anything uh, was enough for the thing to just pop off and destroy me completely after that day i couldn't sleep a full night i was waking up every like two to three hours to go to the bathroom every single time i had blood and it wasn't a small amount of blood it wasn't like one or two drops it was a lot of blood uh, i was i'm suspecting here that i was losing after like a few days of the colonoscopy i was suspecting i was losing like let me think like seven milliliters of blood per day and maybe more like it was insane and so they saw the colonoscopy they said everything two weeks from then i was like they're like okay dude uh two weeks from now the day of the colonoscopy they're like you need to come here and we're gonna start something um the uh, some new therapy some new treatment that treatment, I don't know exactly how it's called in English, but um, it's basically bio and bio stuff. Um, so I honestly don't know how it's called, so I cannot really tell you. I'm sorry. But basically, it's very my you. You can have it in many different intensities. This kind of treatment, um, mine is pretty pretty tame actually one of the tamest um, treatments uh, it's done with antibodies that pretty much prevent my immune system from detecting that my large intestine cells are foreign and so the whole thing doesn't happen and um, my large intestine cells are fine I've done two rounds of this and it's done in the same way that chemotherapy is done they put you um, in a chair with um, uh, uh, with the liquid just flowing in your vein for a few uh, for like an hour or so uh, thankfully I'm not 
even close to that kind of level of treatment where other people are there for. Um, so that is supposed to show results from the next round that I'm going to do, which is the third round at the first of this December. But we'll, we'll see how that goes when I actually go do it. So right for two months, for two months, I was not able to sleep a full night. I was able to sleep in intervals of two hours, waking up every two to three hours, waking up every single time to go poop, blood and diarrhea. And I know it's graphic. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but that's what <laughs> that's how it is. Uh, I have to explain it like this or else you will not get the full picture. So that caused a lot of problems, mainly um, that I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> And because I wasn't sleeping, I didn't have enough energy, but also the diarrhea and the loss of blood was not helpful either. Uh, I lost a lot of iron, a lot of other very useful minerals and other stuff that my body needs due to the diarrhea. Um, and even if it wasn't for the diarrhea, uh, my intestine, because it was inflamed, it cannot really... Um, absorb everything that it needed to so it had I had I was losing stuff that my body needed from the blood loss I was losing sleep so less energy less motivation less anything um, I was losing minerals from the diarrhea you know, and water from the air that I could really use at that point um, I started cortisone again and it was like a godsend um, mainly because every single day my body felt destroyed by everything I could there were days that I couldn't get out of bed from the way that my intestines were feeling so the close so how it felt is like your intestines were like moving but like contra it's something like someone is grabbing them and lightly squeezing them all the time and not just that it also felt like you know you had to constantly go to the bathroom or fart but you couldn't i couldn't fart because uh, my body would not allow me to fart if i wasn't sitting on the toilet um, I felt hungry all the time and at the same time I felt like I had to puke it's like for the guys out there it's like being kicked in the balls like that's how it felt but like that constant feeling and for the girls I've talked to a bunch of women about it and they tell me yeah that's kind of how periods feel like so I guess now I know how that kind of feels like I don't know if that is how a big period feels like or small but it's horrible <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Um, so, yeah, it was probably the worst uh, state I've been in physical health ever in my life. Um, as I said, I couldn't get out of bed. I, I, there were so many days that I couldn't even go to university. I couldn't study. I couldn't get up. I, I couldn't exercise. And even now I cannot really exercise because that makes more blood flow to my intestine and that makes it bleed more which is not good so i cannot even exercise now that i'm feeling way better i can only walk and because it was like pretty much bedridden and i didn't walk for so long um my leg muscles and everything are completely screwed up and they really need to start waking up again so i can only do like walk and maybe some running um, I can I'm eating plant-based food again a little bit more but before I couldn't really do that either because it's harder on the gut to digest thankfully I don't have any special restrictions like they're like don't eat this never eat that never eat that just salt now because of the cortisol but even that is a little bit of a fair game um sometimes so uh what else oh yeah now i'm slowly stopping 
the cortisol um, to stop cor taking cortisone takes a while like I'm gonna stop taking it completely next year at the 10th of January um, which is a long time to take cortisone um, I'm my fucking body is completely bloated uh, from it but thankfully I didn't gain that much weight as I gained last time I only gained like three kilograms right now which is good um, I'm really trying to stay up afloat here uh, yesterday was the first night I was actually pretty much able to sleep a full night without going to the bathroom to poop <laughs> I had to woke up once to be able to sign um, and honestly I've never felt this much relief uh, for a long time I, I was counting um, how many hours and I still do how many hours have passed since the last time I went to the bathroom um, how many times I went that day and the only thing I could think of is when am I gonna take the next cortisone pill so I can actually kind of feel a little bit better because right now I feel horrible um, I don't know what this is didn't check uh, so yeah that's why I'm able to make this video now I was actually able to feel a little better and do stuff it is I'm not great yet I still have problems with the intestine but it's getting better and hopefully the new treatment will work and I'll be fully back up before the end of the year uh, as in like I'm, I'm gonna be able to do shit that I want before the end of the year like I was actually going to participate in uh, some Taekwondo competitions um, but I couldn't after like it, it became apparent that I could not do that because I was getting destroyed by my intestine um, yeah that's that's how it was horrible time uh, but I'm glad I went through it uh, in the end uh, like I was able to overcome it and be here right now to, to, to make this video and everything um, thank you Thanks to everybody that saw the previous video, I guess it's like four views, which is insane for something like that small. Um, the horror video game t went very well. Um, I wanted to do more of that, but I just could not, for the life of me, uh, get in the state of mind to film a video and be energetic and all that stuff. I would just, I could not do it. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much the story. We're gonna play a little bit more now. And uh, we're just gonna talk about stuff. About the game now. <laughs> so, this is not gonna be just an update video, I guess. So, I, I chose Kingdom to Carnage because it's a very chill game. I really love these kind of pixelated, this pixelated art style. Uh, I love the, the soundtrack for the game is amazing too. The whole game is just nice. It's just very nice. Um, yeah. So... A lot of things have happened since I left. I took the the very much needed break with the world that have happened. But I'm not the kind of channel. Don't talk about this stuff even though sometimes I feel like I should talk about it. I feel like I want to talk about it, but I, I don't want to become too politically ideal let's say like that um, I don't want to put my political ideas out there so much because um, it's really easy to be misunderstood and um, people to like take the point that you make and say so you mean that and it's like no I don't mean that you're just not understanding what I'm saying plus I don't know a lot of shit about that I don't, I don't know a lot about politics. I just have my own opinions. And I don't want to say shit that um, will just... That are factually wrong, first of all. And second of all, that will make people 
not exactly mad, but that will make people um, misunderstand the whole point that I'm trying to either defend in my mind um, or in general just, you know, I, I just don't want to say stupid shit that will undermine the work that, and the actual factual stuff that people that have knowledge on these points say all the time. Um, dude, I'm giving you the money so you can store it. I can get money. Take this. Okay. So now we can destroy the, the portals, which is good. Um, what else is it that I wanted to say? There isn't much else that I want to say. Thank, hopefully, uh, now that I'm feeling that I'm going to be able to make more videos, I have some things lined up. I wanted to make more Absolver videos. I'm going to say a bit why I'm not playing that game right now so much. Um, even though I love the game, I cannot play it right now. It's uh, uh, it's kind of weird how, how it is with the game. Um, I have another horror game that I really want to play. This time to completion. I didn't really like the backrooms uh, 1998, how, whatever. Because it didn't really feel like the backrooms. This felt like a fucking ghost game. That, that, that was not what I bought. That's not what I wanted to play. Um, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, it, it's fine. So, now... What are my plans? Um, I'm gonna focus a bit more on uni because I did miss out on a lot of stuff. Um, I'm gonna need to focus a little bit more on my mental health and my stress levels. Uh, my dietary choices too, even though they were not that bad to begin with. Um, it's not how bad they are, it's just like how the fucking body reacts. Because for some fucking reason my body was like, you know what, fuck you. We're gonna kill everything <laughs> inside your large intestine. That, that's not how what you should do, man. Like, come on, come on, you know better. I don't know if my voice sounds different. I did go through a cold on Thursday, but it wasn't really anything. It was like a two-day thing, but my throat did hurt for those two days. So I'm not sure what you, what you may be hearing right now. Um, hmm. what is the boy? Are the bad guys coming this way? Get behind the wall, man. What the fuck? Okay, so we have a lot of hunting grounds, which is good for this game. Like, you want to have a lot of hunting ground, um, but we also need to get these guys up and running. And because we need these guys, gonna get this. Well, there have been a few updates in this game. For starters, those houses that you see right here that just spawn in um, villagers that are way more expensive to recruit, but they still spawn them in, um, are old camps that usually they disap normally they disappeared when you go through them uh, with expanding your castle. Then you cannot get any more peasants. Um, but they changed that now and you can get more peasants even uh, when you destroy the camps but they're way more expensive they take longer to respawn and yeah but i'm glad they did it it was really really needed for the game um to you know you can build like massive armies and shit it, it was something that i really wanted for the game as well for some time to be able to somehow keep getting uh, peasants but even even after you destroy their camps destroyed expanded over their camps and yeah so now there's um, I think it's spring in game or it could be fall fall though these green things become um, they become orange and they are not orange right now so they they're not they're not bad 
We're not closing in on the winter. Why are you giving me these? Take it. I can make so much more money and I want this money to be here. In here because uh, we will need it. So take this. Um, I want to spend the winter either in this or the second island. The third island, in my opinion, is a little bit trickier. And because usually even if you rush it, the winter catches you in kind of a middle stage in the third island. Um, I want this to to pretty much pass either the winter to pass either in the first or the second island. Uh, so just so we are able to do shit complete. Oh man. It feels good to be back. It feels good to record and uh, talk just to the endless void of the internet. Because kind of relaxing, kind of relaxing. After like one more night, I'm gonna end the video. Um, it's gonna make a wall, another farm. It's gonna make big walls, big walls. We're gonna, we're gonna make a wall. <laughs> oh man, man, oh man. So, oh yeah. Let's wait for this night to be over. Z money. Uh, we want to leave a few, sp uh, a little bit of space from the farmland and the wall. Uh, just for general stuff, buildings to spawn, uh, and you want to make the farmland. So yeah. you really like to have farmers in the late game, and you don't want to expand your walls completely f uh, everywhere, just because you destroy money sp spawns. Pikemen also help in the winter. They give one gold when they fish. But they are expensive. Very expensive. Keep building the wall. Build the wall harder. Make it stronger from stone and blood. Ah, shit. the wall to be bigger stronger so finish it up real quick so I can get, tell you to upgrade it oh thank you thank you so much money I have such good civilians and good soldiers you know when they're completely and utterly dependent on getting my protection and they give me every single kind of funds they get but, to be fair, I don't tax them anything. I don't, you know, require any more money for food. They just take as much food as they need to take. They sort it out themselves. They're very self-sufficient. They're, they're like humans. They're like, they're like, no, they're not like humans. They're like good people. <laughs> yeah, move that faster. Don't slack off, I'm gonna kill you. I mean, what? Nobody would do that. I wouldn't do that. Never, never. Anyway, we need you guys. Holy shit, what the fuck? So much money, dude. What the fuck? And that's why you like farmlands. Go be something. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here at night. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for being here. And if you did enjoy, please hit the like button. Subscribing would be very nice too. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.